There's no throw this one. I went all in on believe. All right, well, let's throw this really hard. Screw that guy, right? Easiest throw of my life, honestly. Let's just ruin all of his investment. <laughs> nah, I'm not gonna throw, don't worry. I would never play dishonestly. I never lose on purpose, guys. I don't think very many people do. Maybe I should, though. Keep it interesting, you know, make it spicy. Bob Stammer. I wonder where I could get a nice green vest like you, Bob. That kind of stitching. What's the point of the stitching there? Holding the little vest particles together like that? Is it a vest? Is it a shirt? That's like a really outdated style, right? That used to be a thing. People do that at like the Renaissance Festival. That's where you see that kind of shirt. Walking around eating their giant jumbo turkey leg with their little vesty thing. In their boots. Welcome back. How's it going out there? I have some Renaissance Fair boots, man. Back in Michigan, me and Rachel will go every year to the Renaissance. Not every year, but we go most years to the Renaissance Festival. We dressed up. Did the whole thing. It wasn't really my thing. But, you know, she wanted to dress up and do the things, so... I was like, screw it, let's do it, sounds like a good time. I didn't make... She makes her own costume. I just I just buy the store-bought costume and wing it, you know? I mean, if you're gonna do it, you might as well participate, right? Go all out. The battle is really raging out there. Michigan Renaissance Festival is the best. You been there? Did you see me? You just came and said hi. We could have had a, an epic duel. I had a bow and arrow. I would have struck you down. <laughs> I like the props. That's my favorite part. Yeah, I bought the dressing up, whatever. It's cool just to have a toy bow and arrow that you're allowed to shoot around. <laughs> Maybe I'm a little kid. I see, I see. Let's get some of that good stuff. It's good to get some minions in play. Mech Pirate Dragon. Oh, ho, ho. those are some solid microbots. Artisanally handcrafted microbots. Micro machines, not bots, sorry. Let me let those things marinate in the shop for a while. And build up to beautiful two fours instead of the original one two formation. They look good, man. Sometimes you just gotta let the technology simmer. Yeah, they're punching away. Your minions really pulled their weight. Look at them, bro. Oh yeah, I forgot to update the pool. Demon Beast, yeah. That's my bad. I need to add a clarifier to that, because it is never right. It is never right. I'm not good at moderating that. I gotta be straight up with you guys. That's gonna be wrong 90% of the time. <laughs> Before turn five, anyway. Did I finally notice somebody telling me that it's wrong? Give up the cup? Yeah, give up the cup. I don't, I'm not, I'm not married to this. This is the only thing we're really committed to. This I'm loosely committed to, but to the cup, two thirds of it is probably wasted. More close to like a half of it's probably wasted. No, honestly, for the rolls we had this like, this lobby, we're making it work. Most of my board is filled with crap units, so. We've been doing some little tricky navigation to squeeze in some of them, some of them buffs and still have a pair. I'm happy how we navigated the early game puzzle. Pleasantly surprised, I'd say. You think there's an add-on that displays it for you? That'd be cool. I gotta figure out how to set that up then, man. I was unaware. 32 life? Yeah. We're definitely keeping these. The plus one plus one's really good for those. It's probably just worth... It's so much stats. Then that makes me want to keep this. This I'm still not attached to, but... It's plus three, plus three still? That's pretty pretty solid value. It's like a Rakanishru hero power for one mana. Lemony fart? How'd you make your fart smell lemony? Ah. 
Any prices I think are underrated or overrated? I think flag is underrated. And I think add one unit to the tavern is overrated. Tempo's too good. You just freaking die in this game, dude. I'm pretty sure you're just supposed to take the highest tempo pick all the time. No shields, but still. A couple of dragons. Roll sell by. Or I could sell one by hero power. Just upgrade the 34 into the 37. I want to get the hero power. We don't have an ice block up yet, so I'm prioritizing hero powers a little bit more than I would be otherwise. If we had ice block up already here, I'd probably roll. Sell by, try and find a better four cost unit. I like our board. We got a nice amount of health. I think the good stuff is super underrated too. The good stuff is good and stuff. Take that, Sir Lord Q. One guy eliminated. Ooh. Ghosty. We could use this next turn after leveling again. For the maximum greed. And we can hit a power again looking for ice block and replace 4-7 with another dragon that's a 4-5. Yeah. Okay. There it is. You gotta make sure you get that. That's what I would have picked. Try and get Caligos or Nadina. Both are big winner winner chicken dinner next turn. So we're looking to replace spawn with either Caligos or Nadina. Ghost abuse. And we did it. The prediction is complete. The prophecy has been foretold. Top seven, baby. Hell yeah. So now the next step in the godlet is getting the top six. Then the five. Then the four. Then the three. Then the two. And then we battle the ultimate challenger, which decides the fate of the universe, and uh, try and get top one. Mm -hmm. bum, 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 bum. And here we go. We take Nadina. Hit that roll button. You're trying to figure out how to play Factorio for the first time. That's a complicated game to figure out how to play for the first time. Might I recommend uh, Trump? Trump loves Factorio. Trump was like huge on Twitch. And then he was like, you know what? I'm going to follow my passion and play Factorio because I love it. And his viewership took a nosedive. Now it's back though. A little bit. Trump plays Factorio? Nah, he played Factorio. But it was he played it before it was cool and nobody wanted to watch it. <laughs> but check out his old Factorio content. Any tips on keeping cool during the game? Well, it helps if you have a thousand people to point out your misplays. That's how I usually try and stay calm and collected. <laughs> Alright, let's get some Tavern 6 units, huh? Let's be pirates, shall we? 
Oh, uh, do we try and be pirates or do I try and stay on the dragon route? Try and stay on the dragon route, right? Or Malgadon? There's the dragons. Take one of you. Maybe get another one of you. Need some battle cries. Do I take that Razor Gore? We take that Razor Gore. We don't have a taunt, but I think it's fine. But it's nice when you play with other people, is the point I was trying to say. Playing Battlegrounds with other people is a lot more fun than playing by yourself, I think. So if you find that you get really frustrated at the game playing by yourself, then um, make friends. <laughs> and play with them. Just make friends, forehead. It's really easy. But it's not, it's really hard. But that's usually when I enjoy Battlegrounds the most, is when I'm playing with other people. Twitch shit is your friends, right? Yeah! No joke, I enjoy playing Battlegrounds on stream more than off stream. And not just because of the money, but the money's a part of it, you know, it's more fun when you're getting paid to play. But it's also just like, other people are there to embrace your good RNG with you, and embrace your bad RNG with you, and you laugh about it together. You know, that whole thing. I think it adds to the experience. Mm -hmm. That was sick. If we had more money, we could replace Nadina with a dragon and scale another dragon and then put in Nadina later. It's probably, it's still 11, it's too late for that nonsense. Way too late for that nonsense. Give me another ice block. Redemption Nadina is very powerful. We do that. We need Argus for Nadina so that they can't small taunt our divine shields away. Yeah, it's probably supposed to freeze that second Nadina, huh? End on second Nadina. I think I made an oopsie. I think I made an oopsie! What happened to the first round? I got the top four, and then... <laughs> failed. Some argue that I failed at top five, to be honest with you. Bananas. We already get ice block for free, so we don't need that crap. Alright, let's find some battle cries. Battle cry. Battle cry. Battle cry that gives me money. Battle cry that's the best to end on so we can hero power with it. Ice block. Bananas. We want to put stats where? This? You know what? We're gonna give one banana to you for good luck. Hold strong, buddy. Hold ice block in hand so you definitely get second. It did seem- that does seem decent. Might be better than 15-15 for bananas. Freeze. All right, chat. My hands are up. I froze. I'm done. <laughs> You're under arrest. God 
How did I have 48% to win this? Holy crap. We gotta get an Argus, guys. We gotta get an Argus real bad. We gotta get Argus real bad. The battle is really raging out there. I have witnessed the truth and time. We already have an Adina. We don't need to make another Nadina. I'm hoping that we can just get away with just flooding stats. But I think I'm going to try and roll for Ice Block, slash a hero instead of the buffs. Building image and stuff. Pretty good. Pretty, pretty, pretty good. Battle cry, battle cry. Ah. We want triple this, we want an Adena, we want an Argus. There are things we need to do. There's stuff on our checklist and, uh... We can't sit here just spamming battle cries. We will if we roll the battle cries naturally, but I'm not gonna freeze battle cries when greatness awaits out there. You can't get ice block two turns in a row. You can't tell me what to do. You're not the boss of me. Do what I want. I get ice block six turns in a row. Watch me. Yeah. Heck the game and roll ice block forever. Clownface got it three times in a row. You calling Clownface a liar? I always trust clowns. A reliable source of information. Look, a triple. The clown from it? He hides in the sewers. You know what else is in the sewers? Rats. Master splinters in the sewers. He's very wise. Probably feeds information to the clown from it. Very trustworthy source. What do you think they did before the internet? You know? There's only one way to communicate the information. It had to go through some sort of pipeline before they had the ethernet cables in the ground or whatever the hell they do now. Rats. That's what it was. A rat sewer system guided by Master Splinter. 41. Ooh. Don't want to end on Tonto. What do I? It gets a shield. He's Mega Cleave Man of Doom. So no, we don't want to end on a Taunt versus Mega Cleave Man of Doom. I think that's his proper name. I need a battle cry that's not a Taunt. I could buy this, sell all three and buy a unit. I, uh, nah, we're not buying another unit. Redemption. Auto defense matrix. Probably redemption, right? Because he's got cleavers too, so he should be shredding divine shield. So if he goes first, he cleaves these down. We attack, we shield all of them. It comes back to life, he attacks. Yeah, it should be good. 50 50. We went first. That's got to be a good sign, right? First is the best. Nadine the Red Out Revive didn't do much. I don't know if going first actually even mattered for us. I think this is just 50 50 based on the Divine Shields of the Foe Reapers. That's a two hit Foe Reaper, you love to see it. Firebet fans everywhere rejoicing. Double two hit Foe Reaper! Could this be the one? Could he take it down? The moment you've all been waiting for. Oh my god, perfect trade at the end! He's cleaning up! Oh my god, he's breathing him down! He's unstoppable! They said it couldn't be done. Dude. That guy got scammed. <laughs> oh man. Exactly 10,000? What is this? Who's writing this script? This. This. We gotta buff this. 
figured out. We figured out how to play this hero. We buff this. And we have three mech resets. Oh, baby. Three mech resets. We're like mech demon. Up lands. Alright. Yeah, this hero is easy. 